Welcome to our materials science lecture on atomic structure and bonding. In this session, we will delve into the fundamental concepts that form the basis of materials science. By the end of this class, you will be able to describe an element's atomic structure, including protons, neutrons, electrons, atomic number, and atomic weight. Additionally, you will understand the organization of elements in the periodic table and their characteristic groups. Let's review atomic structure. An atom consists of electrons, protons, and neutrons. The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus, while the atomic weight is the sum of protons and neutrons. Atomic mass unit is a standard unit for measuring atomic mass. The periodic table is a crucial tool for both scientists and engineers. Scientists use it to understand bonding, chemical reactions, and thermochemistry, while engineers apply this knowledge to design new materials and improve existing ones. Modern physics and quantum mechanics play a significant role in understanding electronic configurations and the periodic table. The Bohr model and Hund's rule help explain how electrons are arranged in atoms. Electronic configurations describe the arrangement of electrons in an atom. For example, Iron has an atomic number of 26, and its electron configuration is 1 squared 2 squared 2p to the power of 6 3s squared 3p to the power of 6 3d to the power of 6 4 squared. Unpaired electrons contribute to magnetic properties. Let's take a moment for inquiry. Match this atom's electronic structure with the periodic table element type that it represents. 1 squared 2 squared 2p to the power of 6 3s squared 3p to the power of 5. The correct answer is halogen. The electronic configuration 1 squared 2 squared 2p to the power of 6 3 squared 3p to the power of 5 corresponds to a chlorine atom, which is a halogen. Most elements have outer valence shells that are not fully stable. Valence shell stability can be achieved through electron transfer, sharing, or delocalization, leading to ionic, covalent, or metallic bonds. Another moment for inquiry. The periodic table is a consequence of which scientific principles? Choose from modern physics, experimentation, quantum mechanics, or modern physics and quantum mechanics. To recap, our learning objectives were to describe atomic structure and understand the periodic table organization. We hope you now have a clearer understanding of these concepts. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment below the video to share your thoughts and let us know what topics you'd like to explore further. This presentation contains copyrighted material used under the Fair Use Doctrine for educational purposes. All rights belong to their respective copyright holders. Links to relevant resources are provided in the video description.